Odia Oria Oria, formerly romanized as Oriya, is an Indo-Aryan language spoken predominantly by the Odia people in the Indian state of Odisha. It is the official language in Odisha, Orissa, where native speakers make up 75% of the population, and is also spoken in parts of West Bengal, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Andhra Pradesh. Odia is one of the many official languages of India. It is the official language of Odisha and the second official language of Jharkhand. The language is also spoken by a sizable population of at least one million people in Chhattisgarh. Odia is the sixth Indian language to be designated a classical language in India on the basis of having a long literary history and not having borrowed extensively from other languages. The earliest known inscription in Odia dates back to the 10th century AD. Topic: <laughs> Geographical distribution. Topic. Topic. India Topic. Odia is mainly spoken in the state of Odisha, but there are significant Odia-speaking populations in the neighbouring states, such as Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Jharkhand, and Chhattisgarh, as well as in the neighbouring country of Bangladesh. Due to the increasing migration of labour, the West Indian state of Gujarat also has a significant population of Odia speakers, with Surat being the city with largest Odia-speaking population in Gujarat. Significant numbers of Odia speakers can also be found in the cities of Vishakhapatnam, Hyderabad, Pondicherry, Bangalore, Chennai, Goa, Mumbai, Raipur, Jamshedpur, Baroda, Ahmedabad, New Delhi, Kolkata, Karagpur, Guwahati, Shillong, Pune, and Silvasa. Foreign countries the Odia diaspora constitute a sizable number in several countries around the world, totaling the number of Odia speakers on a global scale to 55 million. It has a significant presence in eastern countries such as Bangladesh, Indonesia, mainly carried by the Sadaba, ancient traders from Odisha who carried the language along with the culture during the old day trading, and in western countries such as the United States, Canada, Australia and England as well. The language has also spread to Burma, Malaysia, Fiji, Sri Lanka and Middle East countries. Topic: Standard Odia. Topic: Kataki Odia or the Odia of Mughalbandi region is considered as standard Odia due to literary traditions. Also worth mentioning that spoken standard of Odia is much different than literary Odia. It is spoken mainly in the eastern half of the state of Odisha, in districts like Kurda, Puri, Kuttak, Jajpur, Jagatsingpur, Kendrapada, Denkanal, Angal and Nyagar district with not much variation. <laughs> Major forms or dialects Midnapuri Odia, spoken in the undivided Midnapur district of West Bengal. Singpum Odia, spoken in East Singbum, West Singbum and Sarikila Karsawan district of Jharkhand Balaswari Odia, spoken in Baleswar, Badrak and Myrvanj district of Odisha Kataki Odia, spoken in Kuttak, Jajpur, Jagatsingpur and Kendrapara district of Odisha Puri Odia, spoken in Puri district of Odisha Ganjami Odia, spoken in Ganjam and Gajapati districts of Odisha and Srikakulam district of Andhra Pradesh Sambalpuri Odia spoken in Bargar, Bolingar, Bud, Debagar, Nuapada, Sambalpur, Subarnapur districts of Odisha and by some people in Raigar, Mahasamand, Raipur districts of Chhattisgarh state. Desia Odia, spoken in Koraput, Rayagada, Norangpur and Malkangiri districts of Odisha and in the hilly regions of Vishakhapatnam, Visyanagaram district of Andhra Pradesh. Batri, spoken in southwestern Odisha and eastern South Chhattisgarh. Halbi, spoken in undivided Bastar district of Chhattisgarh. Halbi is a mixture of Odia and Marathi with influence of Chhattisgari tribal languages. Fulbani Odia, spoken in Fulbani, Fulbani town, Kajaripata block of Kandamal, and in nearby areas bordering Bud district. This language gained momentum during the amalgamation of Kandamal Fulbani, and Bud, region into a single district Fulbani. Minor non-literary and tribal forms or dialects 
Odia's minor dialects include Sundargadi Odia, variation of Odia spoken in Sundargar district of Odisha and in adjoining pockets of Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. Kalahandia Odia, variation of Odia spoken in undivided Kalahandi district and neighboring districts of Chhattisgarh. Kurmi, spoken in northern Odisha and southwest Bengal. Sunti, spoken in northern Odisha and southwest Bengal. Bathudi, spoken in northern Odisha and southwest Bengal. Khandan, a tribal dialect spoken in western Odisha. Laria, spoken in bordering areas of Chhattisgarh and western Odisha. Agriya, spoken mostly by the ingenious people of Agriya caste in western Odisha. Bulia, tribal form spoken in western Odisha. Sadri, a mixture of Odia and Hindi language with major regional tribal influence. Bodo Parja, Jaria, tribal dialect of Odia spoken mostly in Koraput district of southern Odisha. Matia, tribal dialect of Odia spoken in southern Odisha. Buyan, tribal dialect of Odia spoken in southern Odisha. Reli, spoken in southern Odisha and bordering areas of Andhra Pradesh. Kupia, spoken by Valmiki caste people in the Indian state of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, mostly in Hyderabad, Mahabubnagar, Srikakulam, Visyanagaram, East Godavari and Visakhapatnam districts. History Odia is an Eastern Indo-Aryan language belonging to the Indo-Aryan language family. It is thought to be directly descended from an Odramagadi Prakrit similar to Arda Magadhi, which was spoken in eastern India over 1,500 years ago, and is the primary language used in early Jain texts. Odia appears to have had relatively little influence from Persian and Arabic, compared to other major North Indian languages. The history of the Odia language is divided into eras. Old Odia, 12th century and earlier, inscriptions from 10th century onwards provide evidence for the existence of the Old Odia language, although the earliest known inscription that actually contains Odia lines is dated to 1249 CE. Early Middle Odia, 1200 to 1400, the earliest use of prose can be found in the Madala Panji of the Jagannath Temple at Puri, which dates back to the 12th century. Such works as Shishu Veda, Amara Kosha, Goraka Samhita, Kalasha Shodisha, and Saptanga are written in this form of Odia. Middle Odia 1400-1700, Sarala Das writes the Valanka Ramayana. Towards the 16th century, poets emerged around the Vaishnava leader Akiyutananda. These five poets are Balaram Das, Jagannatha Dasa, Akiyutananda, Ananta Dasa and Jaisabanta Dasa. Late Middle Odia (1700–1850), Yushabilasa of Sisu Sankara Das, the Rahasya Manjari of Deva Durlaba Dasa, and the Rukmini Biba of Kartika Dasa were written. A new form of metrical epic poems called Chanda Kabiya evolved during the beginning of the 17th century when Ramachandra Patanayaka wrote Harivali. Apendra Banja took a leading role in this period. His creations, Badihisha Balasa, Kodi Brahmanda Sundari, Labanyabati, were landmarks in Odia literature. Dinakrushna Das's Rasakalola and Abhimanu Samanta Singara's Bidagda Chintamani are prominent kavyas of this time. Four major poets emerged in the end of the era are Baladi Bharath, Bhima Bhoi, Brajanath Bhadiyena, and Gopala Krushna Patanayak. Modern Odia 1850 till present day, the first Odia printing typeset was cast in 1836 by the Christian missionaries, which made a great revolution in Odia literature and language. Topic. Charyapada of 8th century and its affinity with Odia language Topic. The beginnings of Odia poetry coincide with the development of Charya Sahitya, the literature started by Vajrayana Buddhist poets such as in the Charyapada. This literature was written in a specific metaphor called twilight language and prominent poets included Luipa, Tilopa and Kana. Quite importantly, the ragas that have mentioned for singing the Charyapadas are found abundantly in latter Odia literature. Topic: <inaudible> Poet Jayadeva's literary contribution. Topic: Jayadeva was a Sanskrit poet. He was born in an Utkala Brahmin family of Puri in circa 1200 AD. 
He is most known for his composition, the epic poem Gita Govinda, which depicts the divine love of the Hindu deity Krishna and his consort, Radha, and is considered an important text in the Bhakti movement of Hinduism. About the end of the 13th century and the beginning of the 14th, the influence of Jayadeva's literary contribution changed the pattern of versification in Odia. John Beams, a British author and civil servant in British India who stayed for a considerable time in Odisha and worked for the survival of Odia language quotes, At a period when Odia was already a fixed and settled language, Bengali did not exist. The Bengalis spoke a vast variety of corrupt forms of Eastern Hindi. It is not till quite recent times that we find anything that can with propriety be called a Bengali language. Dialects have bit of variety from the literary language, and Bengal circulated in a vast region so that it have some varieties, called dialects. Odia circulated in a small region and less know of speaker that's why variety is very less, rather it have a similarity to Bengali language. We may place the Hindi with its subsidiary forms Gujarati and Punjabi first fixing their rise and establishment as a modern languages distinct from their previous existence as Prakrit till the 12th or 13th century. Odia must have quite completed its transformation by the end of the 14th century. Bengali was no separate independent language but a maze of dialects without a distinct national or provincial type till the 17th or beginning of the 18th century. It was not till the gradual decay of the central Mohammedan power of Delhi enabled the provincial governors to assume an independent position that Bengali severed itself from Hindi and assumed characteristics which now vindicate for its right to be called a separate language. Phonology <laughs> 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 Odia has 28 consonant phonemes, two semivowel phonemes and six vowel phonemes. All vowels except o also have nasal counterparts, but these are not always contrastive. Final vowels are standard and pronounced, e.g. odia piol contra Bengali piol flower. The velar nasal is given phonemic status in some analyses. Nasals assimilate for place in nasal stop clusters. Have the flap allophones in intervocalic position and in final position but not at morpheme boundaries. Stops are sometimes diaspirated between s and a vowel or an open syllable s plus vowel and a vowel. Some speakers distinguish between single and geminate consonants. Topic: <laughs> Morphology. Topic: Unlike Hindi, Odia retains most of the cases of Sanskrit, though the nominative and vocative have merged both without a separate marker, as have the accusative and dative. There are three genders masculine, feminine and, neuter, and two grammatical numbers singular and plural. There are three true tenses present, past and future, others being formed with auxiliaries. Writing system Literature the earliest literature in Odia language can be traced to the Charyapadas composed in the 7th to 9th centuries. Before Sarala Das, the most important works in Odia literature are the Shishu Veda, Saptanga, Amara Kosha, Rudrasudaniti, Kesaba Koili, Kalasha Shotisha etc. In the 14th century, the poet Sarala Dasas wrote the Sarala Mahabharata, Khandi Purana, and Valanka Ramayana, in praise of the goddess Durga. Rama Bibaha, written by Arjuna Dasa, was the first long poem written in the Odia language. The following era is termed the Panchazaka Age and stretches until the year 1700. The period begins with the writings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu whose Vaishnava influence brought in a new evolution in Odia literature. Notable religious works of the Panchazaka Age include those of Balarama Dasa, Jagannatha Dasa, Yasavanta, Ananta and Asayutananda. The authors of this period mainly translated, adapted, or imitated Sanskrit literature. Other prominent works of the period include the Usabilasa of Sisu Sankara Dasa, the Rahasya Manjari of Deva Durlaba Dasa and the Rukmani Biba of Kartika Dasa. A new form of novels in verse evolved during the beginning of the 17th century when Ramachandra Patanayaka wrote Harivali. Other poets like Madhusudana, Bhima Bhoi, Devara, Sadasava and Sisu Isvara Dasa composed another form called Kavyas long poems based on themes from Puranas, with an emphasis on plain, simple language. 
However, during the Banja Age, also known as the Age of Riti Yuga, beginning with turn of the 18th century, verbally tricky odia became the order of the day. Verbal jugglery, obscenity and eroticism characterize the period between 1700 and 1850, particularly in the works of the era. S. eponymous poet Apendra Banja (1670–1720). Banja's work inspired many imitators, of which the most notable is Arakshita Das. Family chronicles in prose relating religious festivals and rituals are also characteristic of the period. The first Odia printing typeset was cast in 1836 by Christian missionaries. Although the handwritten Odia script of the time closely resembled the Bengali and Assamese scripts, the one adopted for the printed typesets was significantly different, leaning more towards the Tamil script and Telugu script. Amos Sutton produced an Oriya Bible 1840, Oriya Dictionary 1841 and an introductory grammar of Oriya 1844. Odia has a rich literary heritage dating back to the 13th century. Sarala Dasa who lived in the 14th century is known as the Vyasa of Odisha. He translated the Mahabharata into Odia. In fact, the language was initially standardized through a process of translating classical Sanskrit texts such as the Mahabharata, Ramayana and Srimad Bhagavata Gita. The translation of the Srimad Bhagavata Gita by Jagannatha Dasa was particularly influential on the written form of the language. Odia has had a strong tradition of poetry, especially devotional poetry. Other eminent Odia poets include Kabi Samrat Apendra Banja and Kabijariya Baladev Ratha. Prose in the language has had a late development. Three great poets and prose writers, Kabibar Radhanath Ray (1849–1908), Fakir Mohan Senapati (1843–1918), and Madhusudan Rao (1853–1912), made Odia their own. They brought in a modern outlook and spirit into Odia literature. Around the same time, the modern drama took birth in the works of Rama Sankara Ray, beginning with Kansi Kaveri (1880). Among the contemporaries of Fakir Mohan, four novelists deserve special mention, Aparna Panda, Murachunjay Rath, Ram Chandra Acharya and Brajabandhu Mishra. Aparna Panda's Kalavati and Brajabandhu Mishra's Basanta Malati were both published in 1902, the year in which Chha Mana Atha Guntha came out in the book form. Brajabandhu Mishra S. Basanta Malati, which came out from Bamanda, depicts the conflict between a poor but highly educated young man and a wealthy and highly egoistic young woman whose conjugal life is seriously affected by ego clashes. Through a story of union, separation and reunion, the novelist delineates the psychological state of a young woman in separation from her husband and examines the significance of marriage as a social institution in traditional Indian society. Ram Chandra Acharya wrote about seven novels during 1924 to 1936. All his novels are historical romances based on the historical events in Rajasthan, Maharashtra, and Odisha. Murityanjay Rath's novel Adbhuta Paranama, published in 1915, centers round a young Hindu who gets converted to Christianity to marry a Christian girl. One of the great writers in the 19th century was Pandit Krushna Chandra Kar (1907–1995) from Cuttack, who wrote many books for children like Parai Raja, Kuhuka Raja, Panchatantra, Adi Jagara Galpa Mala, etc. He was last felicitated by the Sahitya Academy in the year 1971–72 for his contributions to Odia literature, development of children's fiction, and biographies. One of the prominent writers of the 19th and 20th centuries was Muralidhar Malik (1927–2002). His contribution to historical novels is beyond words. He was last felicitated by the Sahitya Academy in the year 1998 for his contributions to Odia literature. His son Kajendranath Malik (born 1951) is also a writer. His contribution towards poetry, criticism, essays, story, and novels is commendable. He was the former president of Utkal Kala Parishad and also former president of Odisha Gidi Kabi Samaj. Presently he is a member of the executive committee of Utkal Sahitya Samaj. Another illustrious writer of the 20th century was Mr. Chintamani Das. A noted academician, he was written more than 40 books including fiction, short stories, biographies and storybooks for children. 
Born in 1903 in Sriramachandrapur village under Satyabadi block, Chintamani Das is the only writer who has written biographies on all the five Pancha Sakas of Satyabadi namely Pandit Gopabandhu Das, Acharya Harihara, Nilakantha Das, Krupasindhu Mishra and Pandit Gotabarisha. Having served as the head of the Odia department of Calicot College, Burhampur, Chintamani Das was felicitated with the Sahitya Akademi Salmon in 1970 for his outstanding contribution to Odia literature in general and Satyabadi Yuga literature in particular. Some of his well-known literary creations are Bala Manisha Wa, Manishi Nilakantha, Kabi Gotabarisha, Bhusakabi Fakiramoan, Usha, Barabati. 20th century writers in Odia include Palakabi Nanda Kishore Bal 1875 Gangadhar Mare 1862 Chintamani Mahanti and Kuntala Kumari Sabat Utkala Bharati, besides Naladri Dasa and Gopabandhu Das the most notable novelists were Umesa Sarakara, Divyasima Panagrahi, Gopala Praharaja and Kalindi Sharan Panagrahi. Saki Kanta Rauta Ray is the great introducer of the ultra-modern style in modern Odia poetry. Others who took up this form were Godabarisha Mohapatra, Mayadhara Manasimha, Nityananda Mahapatra and Kunjabahari Dasa. Prabhasa Chandra Satpathi is known for his translations of some Western classics apart from Adhyanatha Shadangi, Sunanda Kara and Surendranatha Dwivedi. Criticism, essays and history also became major lines of writing in the Odia language. Esteemed writers in this field were Professor Garija Shankar Ray, Pandit Vinayaka Misra, Professor Gauri Kumara Brahma, Jagabandhu Simha and Harakrushna Mahadab. Odia literature mirrors the industrious, peaceful and artistic image of the Odia people who have offered and gifted much to the Indian civilization in the field of art and literature. Now writers Manoj Das's creations motivated and inspired people towards a positive lifestyle. Distinguished prose writers of the modern period include Fakir Mohan Senapati, Madhusudan Das, Godabarisha Mohapatra, Kalindi Sharan Panagrahi, Surendra Mohanti, Manoj Das, Kishori Sharan Das, Gopinath Mohanti, Rabi Patnaik, Chandrasekhar Rath, Binapani Mohanti, Bakari Rath, Jagadish Mohanti, Sarojini Sahu, Yashadhara Mishra, Ramchandra Bahara, Padmaha Pal. But it is poetry that makes modern Odia literature a force to reckon with. Poets like Kabibar Radhanath Ray, Sachidananda Rutre, Guru Prasad Mohanti, Subhagya Misra, Ramakanta Rath, Siddhakanta Mohapatra, Rajendra Kishore Panda, Pratibha Satpathi have made significant contributions towards Indian poetry. Anita Desai's novella, Translator Translated, from her collection The Art of Disappearance, features a translator of a fictive Odian short story writer. The novella contains a discussion of the perils of translating works composed in regional Indian languages into English. Four writers in Odia Gopinath Mohanti, Sachidananda Rutre, Siddhakant Mahapatra, and Pratibha Ray have been awarded the Neonpath, a prestigious Indian literary award. Language sample Topic. The first article of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in Odia Sabu Manusya Janmakalaru Swadina Samanankara Mariyata O Adhikara Samana Semaninkathar Prajnya O Bibeka Nihita Achi Saman Paraspara Prati Badarbaba Pasana Kari Karya Kariba Darakara All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. See also Languages of India Languages with official status in India List of Indian languages by total speakers Brahmic family of scripts Laxmi Puran Madala Panji Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Odia language at Curly Oriya language at Encyclopædia Britannica Odia Wikipedia 
Praharaj, G. C. Purnachandra Ordia Bhashakosha. Kuttak, Utkal Sahitya Press, 1931-1940. A Comprehensive English Oriya Dictionary 1916-1922.